So I'm sure there are a lot of you out there that are uncertain if you should buy a Tesla Model 3. And probably one of the biggest reasons most common out there is, is it affordable? And another thing is a question of practicality. So in this video, I will explain why I believe the Tesla Model 3 is the best option when it comes to both a family and a sports car. I don't believe you need to purchase two separate cars, one for family and one for sports pleasure. I think the Tesla Model 3 can replace both and save you money along the way. So let's get right into it. So the interesting thing about the Model 3 is the way it changes how you look at economics. So with a typical gas car, your main expense is the fuel that you put in and you know there's going to be a linear cost for every kilometer you drive because it's about the same. With the Tesla, what happens is kind of really interesting if you think about what's going on. So your actual running costs drop because electricity cost is much lower than fuel costs. Obviously, you have to buy the car in the first place, which is sometimes more money than the equivalent gas vehicle in the same market. But the interesting thing about doing that is that the longer you keep your Tesla, the better the economics works out for you. So despite a Tesla Model 3 perhaps being a little bit more expensive up front, the long-term impact versus fuel car is much higher, especially when it comes to fuel and running costs. Basically, the longer you keep your Tesla Model 3, the higher the reward or lower cost of economics it is to keep it versus a petrol fuel vehicle. The cost of electricity is much lower than the cost of fuel. Despite both electric and gas cars having repairs over time, if we're just looking at the service, you got this linear cost of gas that you just don't have with, with an electric car. So again, this is a bonus where the longer you keep the electric car, the more rewarding it is in the long term. In summary, a Tesla Model 3 not only requires less cost to run on a daily basis because of lower electricity costs, but the maintenance costs, or should I say lack of maintenance costs, add to the savings over the years. There are no oil changes required, less brake pad and disc changes required, there are less moving parts that can break, and a list of other things that definitely can go wrong with gas-fueled vehicles. So if the savings isn't really compelling to you as it is for me, another really good reason to purchase a Tesla Model 3 is the fun driving experience, as well as the practicality of this sedan. The way the vehicle drives is just phenomenal. To have that type of acceleration and performance all in one vehicle is amazing. So let's talk about handling for a second. You know it's not going to feel like a super lightweight two-seater sports car, but it does have a good set of ingredients to make it feel like a sports vehicle. The brilliant thing about the Tesla Model 3 is the cornering and the ability to control the weight distribution between the front and the rear by controlling the accelerator. Because the electric torque is so responsive, it's very easy to put on or take off power and you can feel the shifting weight from the front to back as you corner. So you get the incredible control that makes the Tesla feel like it's a sports car in terms of handling. The car drives like a sports car, not only for its performance, but this car is, very, is a very pragmatic family car. There's no hump in the back seat. You can also purchase four wheel drive, and there's a ton of space, not only inside the vehicle, but in the trunk and as well as the front, which I'll be getting into later in this video. And the inside of the car feels very spacious and open as well. Now let's look at ways that the Tesla Model 3 works so well at being a family car. There's a whole set of things the Model 3 does that make you think, okay, this is what a family car is really all about. For example, dog mode, the gaming experience, or the movie watching experience. Firstly, I don't own a dog, but having dog mode in a Tesla just makes you think, how do normal people manage? You can't just leave your dog in there all day long in the scorching heat. So dog mode works really well and it keeps the car cool enough and safe enough for your family pet while at the same time displaying on the screen to other people walking by that your pet is perfectly fine inside and there's no need to smash it in the windows. 
The gaming experience, I think, is one of these things that I think is just a master stroke of genius. It really amuses me that no other EV cars are coming out who have adopted this widescreen display. It's like they're too embarrassed to copy Tesla. It's amazing that widescreen movie and gaming experience. At some point, you and your family will be supercharging for 15 to 20 minutes, and it's going to be boring. But instead of hearing everyone whining, you can enjoy a movie together or play some video games while you wait. The sound system in the Tesla Model 3 is incredible, and everybody really enjoys the experience of watching a film in surround sound. As well, if you're ever stuck somewhere charging or find yourself waiting in the car to pick up one of your kids, you can sit there comfortably without any kind of fumes or idling going on when you're parked, which again makes it a perfect family vehicle. The frunk is another amazing family car feature that most people may laugh at, but it is genius. I personally use it when I pick up a pizza so that the inside of my Tesla doesn't smell like cheese and pepperoni but I also use it to put muddy boots or dirty items in there so I do not get my trunk messy. That is an absolutely brilliant feature that gas cars do not have. For me, all of these reasons and others make it a no-brainer. So I love to hear from you in the comments some areas where you have embraced the Tesla Model 3 and how it's basically been the best decision for your family. Tell me what you think, because I would like to continue this conversation and see what you guys all have to say about it. Thank you for watching, and see you guys soon.